Well, here I am out in the middle of nowhere. Not really. I'm just right outside my neighborhood. Um, we took a walk over here not too long ago. In fact, it's kind of cool. You can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but swimming just below the surface of the water out there, there's a bunch of gar out there. This is where we caught, apparently, that one gar that I cooked the other day. Uh, in this the gar hole or whatever they're calling it. So I believe that I found fireweed out here. I'm going to go ahead and cut some. Here it is. There. And there. And there's a bunch growing over there as well. There's also a lot of uh, elderberry growing here. As you can see, none of it's got flowers on it though. So. I'll cut this and um, prepare it, and we'll see how it is. Well, I've gotten my fire weed, and I brought it home and cleaned it up. I've cut off some of the leaves, and here's what I have. Looks like uh, spinach or something like that. I tried a little bit of it uh, raw, just a, just a really little bit like that, and um, it tastes like a, uh, a very strong lettuce kind of like a, a bitter lettuce you get them in a spring mix or something sometimes so I am going to stir fry these over here put some just some salt and pepper not too much try to do this with one hand So, the rule is, you don't eat anything if you don't know exactly what it is. And I am like 99% sure about this stuff. 99%, but not 100%. So what I'm gonna do, even though I'm making a bunch of it here, I am not gonna eat all of this. I'm just going to, again, try a little bit of it, make sure I don't die or anything, and then uh, try more of it from there, this is not very hot. Turn the heat up a little bit. So I have looked at, I've looked online, I've looked in books, uh, I've got a, a, of course I go to Eat the Weeds a lot, Green Dean, and this is like almost certainly what he's talking about there. Uh, based on the description of the plant, based on the description of where you will find it, how big it should be this time of year, everything based on its smell, uh, its texture, all of those things. I also did a Peterson's Guide to Wild Edible Plants. Uh, it lines up really, really well with that. So, but anyway, I'm still just going to take it nice and slow where you, um, you know, you try a little bit, or like a tiny little bit, and if it, you know, doesn't make your tongue numb or anything like that, within five minutes you can try a little bit more and so on and so on. So I'll be trying this a little bit at a time over the next few minutes, and I'll let you know how it is. I'm going to go with a little bit more. Put some sesame seeds in there, a little bit more salt and pepper. Got some right there, I'm waiting for me to try. This would be something I wouldn't ordinarily just eat like this, but I'd put it over rice or something like that. i put a lot of other things in it as well. It's getting pretty close. Um, I guess I'll try it. It's just not how it is. All right, it's cooked. I've had some. My wife has had some. Uh, we've waited several minutes, and nothing terrible has happened to us. So here we go. Here's some. Here it is. All cooked up. So this is like. A head like a young part of the plant so I'll try this it's pretty good it tastes um wow okay uh, that's strong 
That's very strong. Okay. Okay, so bitter. It's bitter. You ever get a, um, a spring mix salad or something, and you get one of the weird lettuces that you know nobody eats or nobody likes, uh, and it's got that kind of bitter taste on the back end? That's what's going on here. But um, I, I would say it's pretty good. I, I, I think it would be much better as a part of something, not like you know a main, like the only thing you're eating, but a, um, a flavor in another dish. So. There you go. Fireweed is edible and even palatable. Well, I'm out here grilling, which is my job most of the time, and I'm thinking more and more about that fireweed. And uh, I think it was really good. My wife had some, she actually had probably more than I did, and she really liked it. She said it had a very good flavor. Um, bitter on the back end actually really strongly bitter on the back end but she liked that and so I've been thinking more about what to do with it um, I wouldn't eat it just like a like a, a main green in a salad like a lettuce or something like that but I think that I would eat it as part of a stir-fry you know a larger stir-fry like some pork or you know pork that sounds good yeah, I think, I think that could go really well. Apparently you can uh, pickle the stems as well and make that part of a stir fry. I have not tried that. I'm willing to try that, but I um, just wanted you to know I'm uh, still reflecting on this. It's been, I don't know, about half an hour or so. And it's been a half an hour and I ate a bunch of it and I still feel fine. So <laughs> I suppose that's proof that the uh, stuff is okay to eat. Um, that's all. All right, fireweed, also known as burnweed also known as pile wart. So it's a Erectites hyracifolium, I think. Erect Erectites hyracifolium. That's the name of the weed. If you see it, give it a try.